Today is our second last day in Cha'am before we are heading to Bangkok for a few days. So there's a few things that we need to get done. Most importantly, laundry. I've been out of underwear for days. Seriously, I'm commando right now and I went commando to a Buddhist temple. What? That can't be that big a deal though, right? Because I don't think under those orange robes there's any underwear. <gasps> The thing about doing laundry while traveling is that it's not always super straightforward. Every country kind of does it a little differently. Sometimes you have your own washing machine, sometimes you don't. Traveling full time has taught me a lot of things, but I think one of the most important is to be grateful for small things like clean laundry, something that I definitely took for granted when living at home. So we're headed to the front desk of the apartment complex that we're staying in, and we're gonna see if they can take care of the laundry for us. So what you got? Ah, uh, laundry? Yes. Okay. Three days? Oh no. Um, we'll be here tomorrow, but then day after we leave. So the ladies at the front desk are gonna take care of our laundry for us. They're gonna have it back to us by 5 p.m. tomorrow. We don't know how much it's gonna cost. We forgot to ask. So when I was 13 years old, I was introduced to Dr. Wayne Dyer, who wrote about spirituality. And he wrote 43 some odd books. I came across one of those books in Florida while on vacation with my parents. The book was titled Excuses Be Gone, and I read it. And in that book, Dr. Wayne Dyer laid out 18 reasons why we get stuck in life. And those 18 reasons were the 18 most common excuses why people get stuck and can't seem to move towards their dreams or move towards a life of fulfillment. This book really changed my life, so I kept reading Dr. Wayne Dyer. He lived on the island of Maui, and he practiced yoga for hours every day, alongside of swimming in the ocean and meditating. And he outlined in his books a lot of the benefits that these practices brought to his life and how important they were for his own journey and his spiritual process. So when I was 15 years old, I was with my dad in Future Shop, which was like Best Buy, but the Canadian version. I came across the DVD section, and in it, there was a DVD sitting there in the yoga section, or exercise section, and it was called Bob Harper's Warrior Yoga. And this struck me because I was kind of more into metal and punk rock and rebellion, but at the same time, I had this interest in spirituality. I had this interest in finding peace and finding stillness. So I asked my dad, can you please buy this for me? I've been reading about yoga in the Dr. Wayne Dyer books and I really wanna give it a shot. And I feel like this DVD could be really awesome. So he bought it for me, I took it home and I practiced in my parents' living room that DVD for the first time. I maybe made it 30 minutes through the hour long session before I collapsed from fatigue. So from the age of 15 until now, I've been practicing yoga as a very important part of my life. In 2020, during the pandemic, I had quite the awakening. I really spent two years working on myself internally and changing who I was as a person, almost on every level. And I did so because where I found myself in life was my outside reality looked exactly like I had wanted it to my entire life. I had manifested and acquired all of the material possessions that I wanted to from a very young age. All of the physical manifestations, all of the physical needs were met. But 2020 came and I was in more hell internally than I had ever been in my entire life. So at that point, I really had to look at myself in the mirror and ask the question, why is it that I got everything I wanted but now I'm worse off. So it was around this time that I realized just how powerful of a tool yoga truly is. And I understood for the first time why Dr. Wayne talked so much about yoga in his spirituality texts that I read as a kid. That was when we first had the idea to leave everything behind and start traveling. The original goal was to go to Costa Rica, practice yoga for eight, nine months, and then we were gonna travel to India to become yoga teachers. That was the plan but things changed. We arrived in Costa Rica and we decided 
you know what? Maybe we should spend some time traveling the world and expand our perspective before we settle down and just focus on practicing yoga and sharing it with others. All the while we're traveling, I've had in the back of my mind, at some point, I need to start a yoga YouTube channel. I want to teach people yoga. Recently, I decided, okay, I'm at the point where I'm ready to start a YouTube channel and upload my first yoga flow, which is what I did yesterday. That YouTube channel called Yoga with Wyatt is now live and has one video on it. So if you practice yoga, I encourage you. After this video, go check that out. Maybe give the flow a try. Let me know how you like it. On that note, it's a few hours later. Let's go celebrate the new channel launch. I found a bakery that definitely has vegetarian options. So let's go inside, get some takeout, and head to the beach. This one here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Baked eggplant. This one. One. Oh, one more day. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we got a macaroni and cheese, baked eggplant with cheese, two spinach pies, and two desserts. What are your hopes and dreams with this new yoga channel? Inspire as many people as I can to try out yoga. And for the ones who are already practicing, I hope to help them further their practice. And I hope that I can further my own practice by making these videos. I can't believe it. Everything is really just falling into place in the last couple weeks. It feels really... Really good to be alive, really grateful to be here at this time. Yeah. Feels like we're walking the path that we're meant to. Yeah. Well guys, I'm gonna enjoy this coconut cake in the sunset with big, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place But we grew up this so tough Just put it all behind Remember you Always find somewhere to hide when we work it.